So now I'd like to show you how I organize part of my craft room closet. And we're going to focus in on, never mind the mess right there, we're going to focus in on the Sterilite containers that are here because these are readily available at Target and Walmart and other such super centers. So um, you could repli easily replicate what I've done here, just maybe get some inspiration to organize some other group of stuff. But okay, so the top drawer. <clears throat> it's a mess and they need to organize it. Um, I think this stuff just doesn't go anywhere else or maybe it's stuff that I want to get rid of potentially. Next drawer down are, these always slide out, ink pads and um, crayons and sponges and dabbers and that kind of stuff. Next row down, punches and my heat tool. And this normally looks better, but I actually use this stuff a lot and I don't, as long as the drawer can close, I don't care because I can just shuffle everything around and find the right punch. Next drawer down, this is my adhesive drawer. Again, I use a lot and quite honestly, I think I have some helpers that um, to keep it a little in a disarray because I think my kids come in here. I know they steal the tape because I'm always having to buy new tape. All right, next container down. Um, I have my stamps and they're all just kind of stacked up in there. These are just some of my staff stamps. Last drawer. This is where I store my nicer cardstock that is whoop, um, eight and a half by 11. And this is mostly my Stampin' Up cardstock. And, but it's mixed in with some other things because I got rid of all the different names. Notice I have the single file, single line system so that my eye is not jogging here and everywhere. And it's sort of in a rainbow order, which you can see, sort of. I'm sure I'm off a little. Oh, black got moved to the front, but rainbow-ish. Um, so there you have it. That is how I organize part of my craft room closet.